This is Belkin's 20K laptop charger. It was one of the best products I tested for battery banks. This is Belkin's Qi 2 10K battery bank. Is it just as good? Now to find out what this year's best Qi 2 wireless battery pack is, I bought 20 plus of them, tortured the USB-C port, melted my iPhone by doing wireless charging sprints, reviewer, not influencer, and also I had to figure out how to do some coding in order to drain the packs in iPhone consistently. This is a 10K milliamp hour, 38.5 watt hour battery bank. It only has two charge rates, which is kind of low. One of the neat things about this product, it has two USB-C ports. You could charge multiple devices with it, and the uh, indicator lights are just tiny LED dots. In terms of voltage, accuracy, and stability, this thing is very, very mid, which was unlike the uh, laptop charger where the ch power rates were the best. Now, my real-world discharge testing had a couple of issues in terms of getting the uh, right voltage to come out. I stress test these battery packs to figure out component quality, and this battery pack would always default down to five watts after 50 minutes or so. At the end of the day, I was able to pull 25.1 watt hours from this pack, which is a little higher than some of the previous products I reviewed, but it does come at a cost. Now, when it came to recharging this battery pack, it took 46.9 watt hours to fill, which is a lot, and it took almost four hours to do so. That is just so long. So to get 25.1 watt hours out of this pack, we have to put in almost 47. That's an efficiency ratio of 54%. Now, when it came to wireless charging through this battery pack, this thing was a pusher. It gave my iPhone a charge of 27% or 3.7 watt hours in 30 minutes, which is pretty impressive given the average is 21, but the thing did run incredibly hot at almost 62 and a half degrees. So it took the battery pack 4.9 watt hours to give the iPhone 3.7 watt hours. That's an efficiency ratio of about 76%. That's pretty good, but here's my biggest gripe. This battery bank runs hot. During the uh, real world capacity testing, it was 54 degrees. And for the Qi Chu charging, again, it was 63 degrees. Both those values are way above average. And the worst part is that this metal metallic kickstand gets incredibly hot. Like it gets hotter than everything else. Now on this white version of the battery bank, the specs are actually on the back. So it kind of makes the product a little cheap looking. The matte finish is nice. The area that touches the phone has a soft rubber coating to it. When it comes to magnetic strength, it takes 7.5 newtons to push off and 25.3 newtons to pull off. So this iPhone Max, uh, Pro, iPhone 60 Pro Max, will come off after a bit of shaking, which I don't like. Overall, size-wise, uh, this power bank is bigger than the last two uh, 10K power banks I've tested. So, which is very surprising to me because generally the bigger the bank is, the better the cooling is, but not the case with this product. In terms of price and value, this thing costs $100. So premium price and you get very, very average performance. So this thing is a premium price product. The wireless charging is ki not killer, pretty good, but the temperature, like it's so warm, that's a deal breaker for me. Would I get it if I wasn't a reviewer? I wouldn't. Way too expensive for what it is. I'm on a mission to figure out what the best wireless G2 battery packs are. Um, there's a link if you really want to get this product, maybe if it's on a steep sale. Um, but yeah, if you're going to get a wireless battery pack, check out my top five video that I'm going to be dropping pretty soon. This is pack number 13, 12 out of 20, I think. Uh, so I've got a few more before I figure out what are, what are the best five.